According to HubSpot, 66% of customers expect a reply from a business within 10 minutes. Now that's insane because 10 minutes is exactly the amount of time I need to set up live chat on my website completely free for up to 10 users. And I'll show you exactly how to do it in this video, thanks to our sponsor, 3CX. Let's get to it. So this is the 3CX website, and I wanna just mention some things about the company because when I hear free forever, I immediately get a little bit suspicious. But the deal with 3CX is that they're really focused on their phone systems. Live chat is just a feature of the phone system. However, for us WordPress nerds, that might be all we need. You could think of it this way, 3CX is investing in the future of your company so that you utilize their free plan and eventually you'll outgrow it and need one of their enterprise paid plans. You can see they deal with some really huge companies here like Coca-Cola, Toyota, Pizza Hut, really name brand companies. They have over 12 million users according to their website. That is a lot of users. But what we're gonna do today is totally free and like I said, we'll have it up and running in like 10 minutes. We could probably start a timer right now. So the free plan, $0 forever, up to 10 users. If you do outgrow that and you need more users, you can go up to 20 users for just 275 bucks a year. And remember, this is not just live chat. It's also gonna include things like video conferencing and phone systems. It's just amazing. Today, however, we're gonna be focusing on the live chat aspect of 3CX. Now, I'm very interested in implementing a phone system, so if you'd like to see a dedicated video on that, make sure you drop a comment down below. You can even self-host the phone system, which really gets me excited. All right, so here is a sales page for my course on Ghost Mastery. Now, I've got a sales page and I really need to add some videos to this and just make it a little bit more attractive. But one thing that I think would really make it sing is if I had live chat on this page so that people could ask questions about the course and then I could respond directly. So according to the 3CX website, all I need to do are these three easy steps. Go to WordPress, download their plugin, sign up for 3CX, and then start answering calls and chats. We'll go to plugins, add new, and I'll search for 3CX. Here it is. 3CX free live chat calls and WhatsApp. Install now and I'll activate. All right, so what we need to do now is sign up for 3CX. Let's go ahead and sign up with email. That's a nice touch. They grabbed my email address from the user that I'm logged into WordPress with and then auto filled it on the sign up form. So all I literally need to do is type my name in and hit let's go. The confirmation email hit the inbox, always a good sign when signing up for a service. It's one thing I look out for. If you can't hit the inbox, I probably don't want to do business with you. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the login button. The first thing that happened when I logged into 3CX was I got this modal pop-up to download their app. Now this is really important because remember, customers wanna hear from you within 10 minutes of initiating a chat. Now you might be thinking, but I don't wanna be available all the time for chat. That's okay, we can set up office hours so that you're not available. The most important thing is when that little chat bubble is in the corner of your website, you're around to take a chat. Now setting up the app is actually super easy. You just find it in the app store and then you just hit download. As soon as the app downloads to your device, open it up and go to the screen that looks like this. Then hit the button that says scan QR code and just go ahead and scan your screen. And boom, just like that, I'm logged in on my phone. There's no passwords or anything to type. Back to the web, let's go ahead and get our account set up so we can get live chat going. So under voice and chat, I'm gonna go to the 3CX live chat. I'll click on agent and let's customize this with a photo. There we go, this one matches my homepage right here, so that'll look good. Okay, now let's give the agent a name, Dave, to keep it informal, right? If you don't wanna show your name, you can definitely turn that off. You can either just hit the toggle here or you can just show the avatar. We can always see what we're doing over here on this preview. So if I hit chat with us, you'll see Dave at the top. Now I'm gonna head over to the styling tab. I've got four presets to choose from, 3CX, Salty Water, Summer Vibes, or Dark. But most importantly, there's an option to customize it. So once again, we can see the preview, everything that's going on over here. And I wanna change the color of this icon that looks like it's controlled by this color. Just paste in my hex code here. There we go, that matches the brand. And then I think I wanna change this background color just a little bit here. You can see it's gonna change the whole thing everywhere you see that dark color. There, I think that looks pretty good. If you're privacy focused, and you should be, know that there are options to toggle on GDPR consent over inside the advanced options. Now remember, 3CX can do more than just chat, so I'm gonna make sure I disable phone for right now. I'm not sure I'm ready to take live phone calls from the web yet, but like I said, I wanna get a phone system set up, so that's for another video. 
Just a few more setup options here that I wanna check out. Startup mode will allow us to have the chat box open when someone visits a page. Now I'd be very careful about implementing this because if your page is already converting quite well, adding a chat might actually distract from the normal add to cart checkout flow that's already working for your business. So I like to keep chat in most cases to be something that people have to initiate on their own. This is something the analytics on your website will help you with. If you have lower converting pages that are very important to you, that's a good opportunity to use the chat box to preemptively engage with your visitors to find out what's confusing on that page so you can get some data and then iterate to improve your website. Now, keep in mind, we're just setting up the 3CX live chat, but there's all of these other platforms you could integrate with. So on top of live chat, we could do Facebook or WhatsApp chat as well. And this is also the same page where you'd connect those phone numbers. So a trunk is going to be a SIP trunk where we actually get a real phone number and route that into 3CX. There's also an office hours tab where you can set your availability so that people know when to expect a response from you. All right, enough of all this. Let's get back to WordPress. Now, one thing that's amazing is I didn't do anything on WordPress, but it automatically filled out this talk URL. So clearly the plugin and their software are able to communicate with each other very effectively. Now, the only thing I really need to do here is decide what pages I want to show the chat on. So I can either enable it on all pages or I can enable it on specific pages. Like I just want it on this sales page for now, probably the cart and checkout page as well. Let's go ahead and hit save changes. Oh, one thing worth noting is that this is unbranded. Even though it's totally free, you're not gonna have a ton of logos showing up. If you wanna support them, you can click this, but you don't have to, so let's leave it off. All right, so here is my website, no chat found. Let's go ahead and check out the sales page. And there it is, the little chat bubble in the corner. Now, I turned on GDPR, so I have to consent before beginning a chat. All right, so I've got a test message up on my screen right now. I'll hold up the phone to the screen here and you should be able to see the chat come in in real time. So here we go, right now there is no chats and you can see my hand pressing return right now. Boom, right away. Over in the web app, I can see my new chat right here and I've also got a notification in the corner where I can just go ahead and reply right away. Now my options here are to mark this as dealt with, the little checkbox. I could also transfer it to another team member. You get up to 10 for free. So it'd be very easy to say, hey, this is a customer support question. I'm in sales, let me move you over. Or I can click the triple dots over here and I can choose between getting more information, archiving the chat, ending the chat session or blocking the user. Of course, every live chat agent knows they need to have some templates and some stock replies ready to go. So right down here, we have the option to choose one of the stock replies. Now I don't have any set up right now. Obviously I just created my account, but I could add a category. And now that I have a category, I can add templates. There's all these placeholders, so you can just drop them right into the template. So you're responding with people's information. But that does bring me to another point. I've not actually asked the customer for any info. So how do you set that up? Before we get to that, can we just take a moment and appreciate the fact that I have live chat running on my website right now in real life for free, like no time at all. Okay, so what we need to do is go to the gear icon for settings, and then we go to voice and chat, choose our 3CX live chat. And then there's a dropdown. We skipped over this before, but it says, what visitor information do you wanna capture? And we have the option between name and email address, just name or just email address. So let's choose the first one here. I'll hit save. Now I'm in a private window, so this should be a brand new user. I'm gonna go and initiate a chat again. So I'm gonna try it from the checkout page and sure enough, it shows up there. And now instead of just having the GDPR request, I also ask for a name and email address. Now the web app's been great so far, but I really love the idea that they have a dedicated desktop app for Apple computers. I'm sure if you're running on a PC, you can just save this as a web app in Chrome. But for Mac users, we've got this dedicated app here that has a separate dialer. So if you're using this for phone, it could be a real lifesaver. Dedicated apps are just better. I don't know why we always wanna run everything in the browser. Okay, so we gather all of this information from our web form, but then is it stuck inside of 3CX? Absolutely not. There are integrations with a ton of different CRMs, or you can even do a custom integration. Let me show you how that works. So I'm over inside of the settings, which you can get to from the three dots and then going to settings. And then you're gonna go down to integration. From here, you can choose your CRM. There are built-in integrations with most major CRMs. I'll just scroll through the list here. You can see that it's got a lot of the really big names. But if you don't see the option for the CRM that you use here, they do have the option to open a specific contact in a CRM. So you just go ahead and fill out the open contact URL and then add in the variables that you want. 
So boom, there you have it, live chat on your website for you and up to nine of your colleagues. Super amazing, free forever, 3CX. Go check it out, link in the description. Thanks for watching.